Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, and this is episode number two of season three, and also the second part of the double upload today, which I hope you enjoyed the first episode. And uh, yes, let's get a good crack on. So, I decided to sim the game against Bulgaria. I felt that we had plenty in a tank to uh, to be able to beat Bulgaria without too much of, a, of an issue. And we did. 4-0, quite nice. Uh, look at that. Uh, Fossen gets two goals. Dembele gets on the score sheet. And as I say, 4-0. But Vermaelen is injured, which is uh, a little bit annoying. But, you know, it's part and parcel. Hopefully, he'll be out for a short period. No, it's seven days. So, he's out for a week, which means he's out for about 14 days. Which is a little bit annoying, but... That's what happens when you actually uh, sim a game. So we get another offer for Josie, extremely popular. As you know, he's been courted by Napoli and, uh, yeah, you know, some big clubs coming in for him. So obviously I'm going to put a counter offer in again. At the end of the day, if we do sell him, I want some decent money for him. You know, 15 million I feel would be fair for him because he is a good player and he has grown to 81. And then we get this. Wow. Josie's going to be courted by Barcelona. That is absolutely monumental. And I, I spoke to Josie about this situation and said to him, look, Barcelona are going to be uh, coming to me shortly and um, wanting to uh, to approach you for, for your signature. And uh, he basically said to me, he said, look, you know, I love playing at West Ham. I, it's, it's, it's amazing being uh, at West Ham. I love the supporters. I love the staff. I love, you know, everything you've done for me at the club. And, uh, you know, you, you're a cracking manager. But you know, if Barca do come in, would you would you would you be prepared to let me go? Because that's like a dream move. And I was like, do you know what? Come on, Josie. So it's not a problem. At the end of the day, it's not a problem. If you want to go to Barca, I, I fully understand. So that's not a problem. So uh, we're gonna see how that progresses. If uh, Barcelona do come, then Josie will be going, which would be a great shame because uh, I do like the lad. I've got a lot of time for the lad. And, but we'll see, we'll see. And I was a little bit annoyed, you know, Dorian Jean turned us down. You know, come on, that's our tea lady. And I was so angry, I was like, no, do you know what, I'm going to put your wages down. So that's like our tea ladies, Dorian and Jean, you know, they make a cracking brew. They also bring me Jaffa cakes, which I do love and adore, as you know, I do like my Jaffa cakes. So uh, Porto came up the transfer offer and I was expecting the same. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen this tweet. Oh fuck, I have just sold. Yes, who could I have sold? And as you see, Mikey Walker, it's one of our big stars, I've replied to him. And yeah, it is, it's one of our big stars. Josie is now going to be playing for FC Porto. Which is a little bit of a shock, you know, I didn't honestly expect Porto to come back and take the 12.5 million. At the end of the day, I think I put him up to 12.5, he was max value 10.4, so that's 2.1 million over the top. Bearing in mind he's worth 6.5 million, we made, uh, well, we got 6 million over, over his budget over his actual allocated transfer budget, which was amazing. Josie did speak to me and he said, he, you know, no hard feelings. He said he, he quite liked a stint out in Portugal. Um, perhaps he can progress to Barcelona late in his career and you never know, he might end up finishing his career at West Ham. So he did part on good terms. It's um, it's always nice to part with, uh, with players on good terms. I don't like to... Uh, well, apart from that uh, incident with Brady, who uh, he's, he's a bit of a twat. But, you know, apart from that, it's, it's always nice to part with players on good terms. You know, Jersey, Josie done as uh, a huge favour in that season. He played extremely well. He filled in a gap, and now we've got to basically find a replacement. But before we do that, we've got a game against Argentina. And I've got to say, playing against Argentina was uh, an eye-opener, and um, they're just a... A different class. They really are just a, an absolutely different class. They get slightly lucky here, I feel. Great save by the keeper. He claws it away one-handed, but it falls straight to the head of Lionel Messi. And it's a great finish by Lionel Messi, but I am slightly aggrieved, as you'll see in this actual replay here, when Lionel Messi goes up for the header. He's, he's being marked by Vertonghen. Vertonghen doesn't even jump. Messi does, and uh, he's just about the same height. So if Vertonghen actually moved and headed the ball, that would never have gone in. But do you know what? Keeping Messi under control was a nightmare. He broke into the box. Great shot. Great save. But, you know, you've got Messi to contend with. And then you've got Tevez following up to finish. And then you've got to remember you've got Di Maria, Higuaina and Aguero also uh, amongst their ranks. So it was an extremely, de uh, extremely hard game. And also on the subs bench was... Uh, well, he wasn't. But, you know, <laughs> Gab should have been there because he's, he's a decent Argentinian player. And thankfully he wasn't. I was. I think he would have done more damage to me than uh, all of those guys put together. Because that's how much how much I personally rate Gabs. He is an absolute legend, and he is sorely missed at West Ham. He is sorely missed at West Ham. So we went out. Unfortunately, um, I'm not sure how the uh, that 
the federation in the football federation in Belgium is going to take that. Hopefully they'll um, they'll take it on the chin. Is you know it's one of the, part and parcel. Argentina would beat us in real life, so we'll just have to move on and hope we can uh, we can improve in the, in the qualifier stages. QPR, Big Harry, thank you ever so much coming in to sign uh, Joey O'Brien. We've got him off the books. We've had a lot of traumatic times with Joey, and uh, it's about time he went. To be off, to be honest, and uh, I'm glad we've managed to farm him out, and we didn't lose out on any money. You know, a million quid is a million quid at the end of the day. Chelsea start sticking their snout in around Lewandowski, which was a little bit annoying. Obviously, uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach going for Diouf, and uh, obviously put his value up now, which is a little bit annoying. And uh, Dorian Jean comes back to us and uh, basically says, "Look." Will you reconsider and offer me this? So basically, he does want the four years. He does want the seven grand, um, five goal percent bonus, which is, do you know what? It's fair enough. Uh, obviously, I gave him three years, though, in the contract length instead of the four years. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I was tempted to put his his wages down, but I thought, do you know what? If it don't work out of him, we can flog him and get some decent money. We managed to get 10.5 million from the Josie deal, which now gives us a ridiculous amount of dosh to spend. And we should get about 850, I think, is from a million minus, is it 10%, something like that, 10, 15%. I can't remember what lenient is, but round about that sort of uh, mark, we should get about 850,000. Uh, yep, we do get 850,000 from the Joey O'Brien sale, which I was really chuffed with at the end of the day. That's going to give us around about 28, oh, there you go, 28.9 million pounds, which is a huge amount of money. And as you can see, Real Madrid have come in for James Ward Prowse. Now, again, I spoke to James. Uh, I gave him a phone call and said, look, Real Madrid have come in and they've made an inquiry about your good self. They've offered us 4.2 million, um, which I'm not happy to let you go for, but I need to know foremost in your mind, would you like to to leave the Hammers and go and play for Real Madrid? He basically said, look, I love the Hammers. You know, you gave me a great opportunity. You know, you had faith in me. You've helped me grow. And I really do love the fans, the backroom staff, all the players. But do you know what? Real Madrid is an absolute dream. And uh, if you could, you know, see your way to let me go, I, I would be most grateful. To which I said, yeah, do you know what, James? You know, I, I appreciate the uh, the honest reply and the fact that, you know, you do have your dreams and uh, I'm not going to stand in your way of reaching your, your goal as a football player. So as long as they come back and give me what I want as a counteroffer, then, uh, yeah, you're free to go. And uh, always remember, you'll be more than welcome back at West Ham um, because you're a great player. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to stick a counteroffer in. And uh, unfortunately, he's going to be he's going to be going. So yeah, we're going to stick a counter offer in of seven point seven five million. I think I put in, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a huge amount of money at the end of the day. His his maximum is five point four. So to be honest with you, I think it's going to be a little bit audacious seven point seven. I can't see Real Madrid actually having that sort of money to spend on uh, on a young lad like that. To be honest, so uh, you never know. He might get his uh, he might get his dream. Um. Part of me is sort of like, well, hopefully he won't, but you never know. You never, never, never know. Um, as you can see, Josie expressed some uh, some regret. He was uh, really enjoying his time at West Ham, as we already know. You know, he did want to move to Barcelona. It turns out we sold him to FC Porto. But as I say, we left on on uh, good terms. And uh, at the end of the day, I suppose twelve point five million is an offer we can't really refuse. And look at that. We reviewed your asking price of 7.75 million, and Real Madrid are going to match it. So, unfortunately, not only have we lost Josie, but we've sold Ward Prowse. So, that will give us round about, I think, after you take away the board's cut, we're going to have about £35 million. I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys, and we've got a lot of players to buy. I'll catch you later. 